Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Today, I will be visiting the Acropolis of Athens, but before I head over there, I need to meet up with Dragon. That is, if these naughty cats will let me pass. I see him. There he is. Come on, Dragon. The Acropolis of Athens contains the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historic significance. During ancient times, it was known as Cecropia, named after the legendary serpent man Cecropa, who was the first Athenian king. On the southwest slope of the Acropolis stands the Odeon of Herodes Atticus. This stone theatre structure was completed in 161 AD and then renovated in 1950. Now let's walk through the monumental gateway, the Propylia of the Athenian Acropolis. Each morning, a small party of soldiers march across the site to raise the Greek flag from the flagpole. This is the Erechtheion, which was dedicated to Athena and Poseidon. Mommy,那边是不能去的。你没买门票,你怎么进来的?你的门票呢? And at the centre of the Acropolis is, of course, the famous Parthenon, also known as the Temple of Athena. A fantastic figure of the goddess Athena decorated in gold and ivy originally stood over 12 meters high in the very center of the Parthenon. The statue actually cost as much to create as the Parthenon itself and had the dual role of providing an emergency treasury for Athens if money ran low. 
Unfortunately, this glorious sculpted figure no longer exists. Built at the foot of the Athenian Acropolis is the Theatre of Dionysus. It is the birthplace of theatre and was dedicated to Dionysus, the god of plays and wine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to continue following me on my next adventure. Bye!